Hello, today is another yarn haul video. Now the yarn I have for this video is come from Hirschner's. They've had a couple of really big sales uh, this past month. And so I really took advantage of them because the sales included yarn that I had purchased in the past and liked, but didn't really buy a lot of it because I was just trying to become familiarized with the yarn itself. However, this time, with the sale, I went and purchased a lot more of certain yarns. So for today's video, I'm going to go more in depth into the yarn I actually did purchase and how much of it I purchased, what I paid for it, how much I actually saved in comparison to what it would have cost retail. And then we'll discuss if this was really a good deal or not. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sig, and this is my channel, Essential Crochet. And of course, you are always welcomed here to share this time with all of us. Now, I must quickly ask you to subscribe. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button because it really does help out the channel. And when the channel is helped out, that allows me to create more content. In addition, I always invite you to leave comments and share the video. Let's get started. Also, before we jump into all the yarn I purchased, I did get a new yarn that I haven't tried out before, and I took my chances and crossed my fingers and purchased several balls of this. And then also, I ordered two surprise bags of sock yarn. So I purchased a couple of their mystery bags. And so those were a little bit of a surprise too. And you'll see what I mean further on in the video. So the first yarn I purchased is called Willow Dusk. This is a new yarn for me. I haven't used it before. It is a, they say it's worsted. I say it's a light worsted, so maybe more like a three. But it's a beautiful yarn. They had a lot of different colors to choose from. And I believe they're still on sale at the time of the release of this video. But I decided to go with peppery. And I actually decided to get seven balls of this yarn. Simply because it's... It's beautiful gray yarn. I really like that. It's nice neutral color. The yarn itself is 80% wool and 20% alpaca. So while it's not as soft as 100% alpaca, it really comes close. It's really a nice yarn. And I was hoping it would be a nice yarn. It looked to me like it might crochet up into a really nice sweater or something along those lines. And so I decided to go ahead and purchase it because after all it was a hundred grams for $4.99. Right? So this is a 3.5 ounce ball and for your hundred grams you're going to get 218 yards or 200 meters. They tell us it's a four but like I said it really feels more like a light four, maybe a three. But that's okay. It's a lovely yarn, and I'm not mad about the, about the weight of it either. It works out perfectly for me. Now, this is a hand wash. Lay flat to dry. You can iron it on cool, and or you can dry clean. They recommend approximately a five millimeter hook or in U.S. sizes, that would be an H or an 8. It's pretty similar to the same sizing in terms of knitting needles as well. So this yarn, the colorway is peppery, and the color number is 0211. And this yarn retails out at $9.99. So I saved $5. I purchased seven of these donuts. I took a risk and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to see how it works up in a piece. 
Now, a couple of months back, I purchased this Gaia yarn from Willow. And it is a 70% cotton and 30% wool. Now, I'm usually not a huge fan of working with cotton, but I've been finding that some of the higher end cottons, I don't mind. And so long as they're not like a heavier weight cotton, like a four weight, I enjoy working with that much better. Now, this particular cotton happens to be a blend and it has a nice feel to it. It's not super soft, but it has structure, but it's not like scratchy either. So it's, it's okay. It's a size two. And yeah, I'd say that was a solid weight of two. Uh, they tell us that we can wash this in a warm wash, lay flat to dry, and or you can use a medium iron on this. You can, it's also appropriate to dry clean this yarn. So while it's not super convenient in terms of washing, it's a lot more convenient than some of the other like straight wool yarns where it has to be hand washed for sure. So these hanks are 100 grams. And for your 100 grams or your 3.5 ounces, you're going to get 295 yards or 270 meters. Now, I haven't really started working with this yarn, but what I did was the last time I purchased this yarn, I purchased like one of each of the colors that they had because I wasn't sure. And I figured I'd be able to do something with it. Well, I really like the yarn, even though I haven't done much. And I realized that I wanted to round out a couple of the yarn colors. Now, my budget wasn't going to allow me to get too crazy. So I kind of had to pick and choose. And so this goldy color right here, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. And I already have another skein. So I figured between the two skeins, I could definitely use that. And it would be while not enough to maybe do a full top if I paired it up with another appropriate colored yarn from the same collection, I could probably do something really nice. And I actually really liked this particular mustard color. Now I'm not huge on yellows per se, but every now and again, I come across like a mustard color that I really like. And this happened to be one of them. So I purchased one of these. And then this green right here, the colorway is Moroccan. And I just thought it was a really kind of nice, subtle green. Again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I definitely have another hank of this. So now I have the two hanks and I'll be able to pair it up with something also if that's what I choose to do with it. Or I was thinking that these might actually work well with amigurumi patterns. But I just wanted to make sure that I had enough of this color that I could really do something substantial with if I chose to, you know, short of, short of making a, a shirt or a skirt or something along those lines. So again, this colorway is Moroccan. And I purchased one of these as well. Now, my next three colorways, I have linen here. And then this colorway is Woodcliff. And the number of this color is 26, while the number of the linen is 23. And then also the next one, this colorway of Evergreen, number 24. Now, these three, I really liked these three colors. And I thought that there was something that I might be able to really do with them. So again, I have one of each of these three colors already put up. But then I went ahead and I purchased four of each of these colors just to make sure that I have enough. So by purchasing four plus the one I already have, that's going to give me approximately... 1,485 yards. And that should be, that should be enough for me to make something substantial with. And if I can't, then I can always blend one of these other colors 
from the color palette of this particular yarn that I happen to have. Now, this yarn right here typically retails out at $7.99. So that's not bad for 100 grams of a nice quality cotton wool blend. What I actually paid for this because it was on sale, I paid $3.77 for each one of these hanks. And at that price, I was, I was able to stock up. Because going forward, I'm not going to be spending too much money on yarn. In fact, the goal this year is to start really using the yarn that I really have in a big way. Also, some of the yarn that I had, like I mentioned before, is just not very much of it. So I like the yarn. I want to use the yarn. But because I purchased it more with an eye to kind of discovering, even if I liked the yarn before I spent a larger amount of money on purchasing more of that yarn. And so that's pretty much what I did with the Hirschner haul that I did this time. I looked at the yarn that I had. And the yarn that I really liked the most so far that I've gotten from Hirschner's but didn't get very much of, I decided because of this sell, I would go back and round out those yarns that I liked and just acquire enough yarn so that I could make something substantial with, with that yarn that I'd already had purchased. Now, this next yarn was a bit of a surprise to me. So what I did was I had purchased some of their mill ends. Hirschner's has those mill ends that you can get a fairly decent deal on typically. And I wanted to give it a try, see what I got. And, and I did. But because I wasn't familiar with that particular kind of yarn, I really wasn't sure what brand it was, what I was looking at in terms of pricing. And so with like the mill ends, for those of you who don't know, you can either make out like a bandit or you can end up with something that's kind of like, meh. you know, it just, it just really, it really dep depends and it's all a surprise. And so you pay a lower price, a sometimes greatly reduced price, but it's a mystery. You don't know what you're getting. So with that order of mill ends I did here, a few months back, I received what I now know to be the Himalaya air wool. I received this particular colorway. Let me see if I can remember what that is. I think it was called like cucumber or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if they tell me anything about it on the tag. No, not really. But at any rate, so I, I received these two colors. I got this, this green variegated color. And let me set this red aside. And I pulled out two different ones so you can see how the color variegates. So it comes from this nice creamy white to this very cucumber looking green. Now, admittedly, this green really is not my favorite color but I thought the wool or rather it definitely is a wool blend was nice um, they say it's a worsted weight I think it's closer to a five weight but again that's just me and each one of these balls is 100 grams and for your 100 grams you get 155 meters or 170 yards so this is definitely a blend and it's on the higher end of acrylic. So it happens to be a 74% acrylic yarn with 13% polyamide and 13% wool. So when I purchased this yarn or rather I got this yarn, I got it from the mist, the wool or wool blend mystery bags. So yeah, in my opinion, they kind of skimped on the wool a little bit, but you know, it's, it's a mystery bag. So and it is a blend, so you can't complain. And in fact, I actually really like the softness of the yarn, but I, I figured I can make something nice out of it, like something cozy for a baby or something like that, right? And then 
I got this red. And I'll show you the other another ball so that you get a real good idea of um, of the variation, of the gradient of colors that go through this particular yarn. Now, this particular yarn I really liked. I really loved the colorway on this yarn. And again, you know, it's it's a Himalaya Air. Uh, all the specs are the same. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Air yarn. Really, what it is, is it's kind of a mesh cylindrical shape. So it's kind of like a mesh pocket, if you will. And what they do is they blow fibers into that mesh pocket. So now this one's a little different, though. So let me see. I think we might be able to see it better with the green. So here you can almost see that the mesh itself is really kind of made from smaller strands of the yarn itself. So I don't see a lot of fiber that would otherwise have been blown into this. So that's kind of interesting. So I don't really know what to make of that. But the yarn is super soft. It's really pretty. It has a lot of loft to it. It, it springs right back. So I'm really interested in seeing how this works up. And what I did with this yarn, so this yarn went on sale and it was really, it's not a terribly expensive yarn to begin with, but the sale was just fantastic. And because I'd already gotten two balls of each color from the mystery bag, I wasn't hesitant at all to order several more balls of this particular yarn when it went on sale. So this particular yarn typically retails at $3.49. So it's not expensive at all. When I sat down and figured out what I paid for the mystery bag of wool blend yarn, I realized I paid almost as much for that yarn as I would have if I just went and purchased it retail from them. Uh, so that was kind of disappointing to see. So I didn't really get a deal per se, but I got a really interesting yarn I've never had before. And at least I love the color red, the cucumber, while it's not my color, I can certainly make it into something for somebody who would really love it. So that's okay. So this yarn was a dollar a ball on sale. I was so excited to see it on sale for a dollar. Now, when I was on Hirschner's last, which was this morning, I believe, I think the price had changed to $2 a ball, but that's still a fantastic deal if you're interested in this yarn. So what I did was I went and I purchased 10 balls of the red and 10 balls of the green. So I already had, you know, two two balls of each color, or rather, actually, I should say I already had four balls of each color, now that I think about it. So that gives me 14 balls of this green and 14 balls of the red. And so basically, between the two colors that I purchased, what did I spend like $20 for 20 balls of this yarn? Yeah, what a great deal. So next, I purchased two mystery bags of sock yarn. And imagine my surprise when I did not get sock yarn, as you can see. Now, one of the drawbacks of these mystery bags is that they reserve the right to give you a replacement if they feel like they're out of stock. And so, yeah, I didn't know I would get something so far from sock yarn that it wasn't even funny. But they clearly tried to compensate me for this. And in a way where the yarn they did give me was a considerable value above the sock yarn that I actually received. Or rather didn't receive the sock yarn that I actually ordered. Now, the sock yarn that I had purchased was going to be $14.99 per 14 ounces of sock yarn. What I got 
was 14 ounces of this mural yarn. And this particular yarn right here, I believe, is called Eventide or Eventide. Eventide. They also sent me a pattern. So their patterns go for $4.99. And each one of these skeins, and I'd already weighed them out, and they're full skeins. These are not mill ends. These are full skeins. And each one of these skeins retails out at $14.99 for 200 grams of yarn. So these two together are basically a $30 value. And each skein is going to give me. 820 yards or 750 meters. They also gave me a pattern that basically goes with this yarn. So this Amazon night evening shawl. And so what was kind of nice about how this one worked out was it is nice to see or at least get an idea on how this yarn is going to work up because clearly this shawl is made from this Eventide colorway. So that's really nice. Oh, yep. Here's my tag. My notice of substitution. So as you can see, I was supposed to get 14 ounces of the yarn mill in sock yarn. And I did not. And that doesn't make me happy. But the yarn doesn't make me mad either that they sent me. So it kind of puts me in that middle ground. So in all reality, I will not be making the shawl because, well, I don't knit. So maybe I'll move this pattern on to somebody who does. However, the thing that I appreciated about this particular package was this shawl requires two full cakes of this even tied mural yarn. And that's what I got. Oftentimes with these mill ends or these packages, you get maybe one skein of one colorway and another skein of another colorway. And then they give you a, a pattern that requires two skeins and you're just kind of like, so, okay, so... Now I got a yarn that I'm not really, you know, in my case, I didn't order. And now I've got to try to, you know, figure out if I'm going to order another skein full price to make a shawl that, you know, it was nice to get the pattern. But, you know, it's, it's not what I, you know, I didn't order one. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. That's, you know, that's just me thinking out loud mostly. But my point being is it really was nice to see two cakes of the same colorway because what this will at least allow me to do is it will allow me to actually be able to make something substantial with this so you know okay it's not sock yarn but it's something I can definitely work with and I'm not mad at the colorway so you know it's all good and then of course when you purchase these these mystery bags you do risk and you do give Hirschners the authority to substitute your yarn, for better or worse. It's just the way this thing works. And then, of course, the, the pattern itself is a $4.99 value. So, basically, I paid $14.99 for this. And it has... A value of approximately $35 just to give you kind of an idea now let me go ahead and show you what my next sock yarn mystery bag look like so surprise surprise some more mural cotton acrylic blend yarn so clearly this is the same yarn Although the colorways on these two yarns are different. This colorway is Neptune and this colorway is called Purple Passion. And then of course the pattern they gave me for this one 
only requires one skein of yarn or one cake of yarn. So in this particular case, it was kind of nice to get two different colorways because I only need one cake if I want to make one of these mural shawls. But of course, I will not because again, this is another knitted project and I crochet. So we're going to go over the specs. As I already said, for your 200 grams, you're going to get approximately 820 yards. This yarn is a 50% acrylic and 50% cotton blend. If you're using knitting needles, they suggest a US size 7. For those of us who crochet, you know, it's just going to be experimentation. It's really going to come down to what we're going to make with this and the stitches we use and the look that we want is going to determine, oh, and the gauge, of course, is going to determine the size of hook that we use with this particular yarn. And I looked and I didn't see these on sale, but you know, it's Hirschner's. Uh, if you keep an eye on Hirschner's, things come in and out of sale all the time. They have their one sell section where they offer dollar yarn from time to time and other more inexpensive yarns on sale like that or if they're just trying to get rid of it all and that's really budget friendly uh, they have regular specials that they run that you might want to keep an eye on then they have their clearance section so Hirschner's is always running a sale now for me here in Alaska I can never get to take advantage of free shipping or even low cost free shipping. That's the only thing about Hirschner's that, that I really hate when I purchase from them because shipping here to Alaska is so expensive. So this order that I got while there wasn't a huge variety of yarn that I got, I got kind of a large order. So shipping was a little more than $40 for me. Now, our Canadian neighbors understand this kind of shipping. Here in Alaska, we pay not quite as much as they pay in shipping because they have other taxes and customs that they have to pay. But here in Alaska, we're typically a close second. And so if I were in the lower 48, I would have gotten even a greater deal on this. So let's go over some numbers. Speaking of deals, for 40 three skeins of yarn and this also includes shipping I paid a total of $181.59 now had I paid retail price for all of this yarn including shipping I would have paid $381.47 so I saved $199.88 just taking advantage of the sales. And that gave me basically a 52% savings, which was really nice. Now, had I lived in the lower 48 and had I not had to pay for shipping, I would have actually saved closer to 63%. So Times are tough. Money's getting tight. Most of us, particularly who like yarn, who like to purchase yarn for our projects, and we know yarn ain't cheap. It's really these sales that, that help make this happen, right? That help us build up our stashes, especially if we're interested in a more natural fiber. Then what that does is that brings that that yarn that's made with the more natural fibers, the wools, the alpacas, uh, the premium cottons, that brings those yarns back down to a closer price to, you know, our more affordable acrylic yarns that, that we might get that's, you know, medium to, to lower in, in price. So I'm not very different than most of you out there where, you know, I have a budget. And yes, most of my budget does go to yarn. And I do not apologize for that. Not at all. However, you know, prices for food is going up. 
prices on just everyday items that we use, those are going up. And so when the income coming into the house is not matching or going up with, of course, the inflation of everyday products, we have to start tightening our belts, of course, and we have to start pulling back and we have to be a little more selective. And so instead of buying a bunch of yarn that just looks pretty, I find that I am now thinking in terms of which yarns do I actually like more than other yarns? Because most of the yarns I have in my stash, I like. I purchased it because I liked it or I was interested in seeing if I would like it. And so, yeah, I have, I have yarn. I have a bit of yarn that does not blow my hair back because I've experimented and purchased yarn sight unseen just to see if I liked it or not. You know, that, that's a given. But the majority of the yarn that I have in my stash is yarn that I really like. And so I had to take some of that yarn and, you know, and instead of buying new yarn for experimentation, I had to reallocate those funds to just get more of some of the yarn that I actually really like a lot so that I can do a major project with that. And part of that is, you know, buying it on sale. So I wasn't really in the market to buy more yarn this time. However, a couple of these sales were so good and they were of yarn that I really liked and wished I had more of. And so I took advantage of that. But now is the end of my rambling, my yarn rambling. And it's time for me to say Thank you for joining me and have a most wonderful weekend. Stay safe and above all, continue to stay amazing. Bye-bye now.